Hey, welcome back. This is Michael T. Bradley. And Skixmatics. And we are here to finish off the exciting, edge of your seat, ennobled Heart of China. <laughs> I almost said Heart of Darkness. I had to search there for a moment. I was like, no, no, no. Heart of China. It's Heart entirely of entirely different. Entirely different. Where we are currently in Istanbul playing a woman. And uh, we've been in Nepal for the last 45 minutes or so. Okay, ready to finish it off here, Skix? Yep. Would you like to buy a hacksaw, a broom without a, a, a handle, a giant pumpkin, an iron, a bong, or a sitar? <laughs> <laughs> or King Tut's tomb on the far left. Or maybe that's someone's All right, face. Yeah, yeah, sarcophagus? Yeah. yeah. All right, fair enough. Maybe a tuba there, top middle. An old-style radio... Or possibly a giant replica of a trigun uh, armament. Sure. And a roll of insulation. Kasim, you're like obviously like a, a middle-aged character actor really down on his luck. Like, I'm not buying the ethnicity at all with this actor. Oh, I was right. We went and sold the locket. Does Camel have humps? I still want his outfit, kinda. Yeah, fair enough. I I feel like I I could be a Fez guy. He's a Shriner. <laughs> his little car He's... is parked outside. <laughs> <laughs> is that a thing with Shriners? I thought that was clowns. Yeah, well, in in the parades, um, they have like little 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 cars, like like go karts, but they're made to look like full size cars. Mm. It's a Shriner thing. Okay. Shackles? Yeah, I don't know. Look, I need to make an old, sad psychopomp uh, an offer. Will 55 shekels get me then? <laughs> psychopomp, there's some highfalutin vocabulary there. <laughs> I mean, she looks like it, right? Sure. She'll take you across the river, if you know yeah. what I mean. <laughs> All right, okay. Now you gotta buy something because she doesn't want your money. Yeah. Bedouin sitar. Bedouin sitar. Nice hacksaw, yeah. Oh, the hacksaw we gotta get to saw through the um, uh, to saw through the the bars. I bet. Yeah. What? You're leaving, player? What are you thinking? Oh, it's good day? It's good day today. Day was capitalized, so I assume that that must be a proper day. Handyman's best friend. If you know what I mean. I was gonna say, I thought that Handyman's best friend was the woman who doesn't have the money to pay. Oh my goodness, I have Get just forgotten all my cash! The old crone wants the pumpkin. Why do you say that? I don't know. Because it's better animated than the stuff around it? Yes. I think maybe it's the sitar. I think maybe we give it to her and she will... Tra uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Trapes off like um, Harold at the end of Harold and Maude. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. We got to do this bullshit now? There is a mini game. Yes, Virginia. There is a mini game. Oh, well. You notice this guy was well. described as weaselly. He doesn't actually look that weaselly. I think our um, hero is more weaselly. So, is he cross-eyed because he plays this game all the time? <laughs> that must be it. I mean, I that's how, like, like magicians, they're all, like, I don't know, card-eyed or something? So we gotta bet it all. Oh, boy. I hope Perizing saved here. Keep eye on P. P. Omar. But this is, um... But this is like, uh, it's on the left. Oh, no. Uh, on the right, middle, uh, right, uh... See, thing is, with the shell game, I stopped on the right halfway through. <laughs> right, it's on the right, uh, unless, um, it's, it's... <laughs> oh, for God's sake. P. Um, unless he cheated... But, um, I guess he didn't, so, alright. You're supposed to cheat. 
I was gonna say, like, it, usually it's a cheat, right? Well, you let them win once. Oh, okay. Then All right. So cheat. now, now it's gonna go like seven times as fast. Our player is pretty confident. I'm sure that Perzing is doing like uh, uh, behind the scenes saves. Okay, there's the P. Or maybe it's just always gonna be on the right. Maybe that's like the trick to it or something. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> it's on the right again. Okay, on the right, yeah, yeah. That's what I... Maybe it's just always on the right. Oh, but now he's gonna switch it. Yeah, uh, no, nope. say no, say no, Perazing, don't fall for it. That that was his cheat. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you horrible American! You have left me destitute, and my children shall starve. I weep now. Oh my God! How many times do we have to do this? Did we need 400? Soft lapped one. Yeah, I didn't notice any particular thing she was after, but I guess... Is it Perizing? Perishing? Yeah. Well, she asked about the uh, the hacksaw. Maybe he said it was 400 shekels or some bullshit. No, it was... Uh, on the right. It was 500. 500, I think. Which seems like a lot. Yeah, now it's in the middle. Jeez, Momar. Just keep fucking with us here. Oh, I see where you're talking about where she's still dressed as a nurse. I'd missed that. I, yeah. Yeah, I, I, was think, I was thinking, like, does he have a little wooden doll beside him? And then I realized, oh, that's Kate. <laughs> All right. So if... If, like, that amulet was worth 55 shekels, do you really think that, like, that street guy playing, um, three-card Monty would have fucking, like, 500 shekels just hidden away there? 50. It was only 50 shekels. So why did she need Yeah, but I'm sure we need, I'm sure we need more. We gotta get the pumpkin or some the bullshit, sitar, you know? since that's the only Maybe thing he iron. Named. Yeah. Or... Buy some booze oh, in the we just don't care. I see the mimes in the back. Maybe we have to go talk to her first before we know what to get. Probably. Parazing's like, I oh, no, here we go. We're going to buy a camel or some oranges. We're going to push over the oranges so that the camel stampedes this man to death. <laughs> and then we use his kidney. Oh, oh you're, I, you're part right. Blame the boy. Blame the boy. Is she going to steal an orange? I guess so. He didn't... His face is still awfully passive for being so angry there. What is... What is her plan? Um... Well, you shall see. Oh, now she has an assistant in this little boy. He's kind of dressed like a capuchin monkey also, so... <laughs> He's dressed He's like a keeper. cappuccino. <laughs> Maybe she's going to give the boy to the old woman. <laughs> there you go. It is the will of Allah that I starve and die on this street. And he has a rare and beautiful flower with him at the cart that he's not selling. So this was her plan to spill oranges in order to receive a flower? I guess so. Rather than ask for it. Now she's got to be like, no, dipshit, I pushed it over. <laughs> You're supposed to deny three times and then and then say yes. I read that somewhere. That was in the book of uh, that was in the book of what was it, Thomas? 
shit, who was it who denied Christ three times? Doubting, no, Doubting Thomas. Uh, yeah. Peter, I think, denied. Oh, right, Thomas was the one who was like, let me stick my fingers in your wounds. <laughs> that mustache. <laughs> <laughs> That's the that's the guard at the uh, gate. They just keep putting silly mustaches on the same actor. Akayib. I'm looking to see if this is like an anagram or something. Backwards, it's by Yaka, but... All right, so maybe we have to escape from the city on the camel. Free water, water lord. Shit, do you think we're gonna have to do like a desert maze? <laughs> I hate those ones, like in King's Quest, where it's like on, on you know, you just have to randomly go in directions until you don't die. Yeah. So she's got a camel, a water gourd, and a flower, and a hacksaw. Um, I, I think we're being saved a lot of time by our player knowing what to do in what order. Because it feels like in normal gameplay, there'd be a lot of back and forth thing going on. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm sure. I mean, that's the nice thing about long plays. Is they, they, I mean, most of them know what they're doing when they come in here. We are seeing the game as if it was a movie, kind of. Yeah. So we give her a flower, and then she weeps until... She turns into, like, a dusty old thing. <laughs> and she reveals her true lich face, then we have to fight her. Yeah, I hope that's right. Cattle Lo Kate Lomax, got it. Yeah. Ooh, that, that can't be good. So much prison sex, Kate Lomax. <laughs> know where he's being held. He's being held in the crotch. Do you like tool, Kate Lomax? A pseudoepidemal angiosperm, Persemia algorithmia. I don't feel like that's real. <laughs> I... That's correct, Skix. This is, in fact, a video game, not reality. Oh, now you're getting all philosophical. There's a little spider crawling across the wall, I think, and it's kind of creeping me out. Oh, so there, we had to find out what she wanted, but we already had it. And conveniently, he's right there. Yeah, he has found some kind of temporary sanity and all this shit, blood, and cum on his hands. <laughs> well, way to, way to keep a G rating there. <laughs> Wait, I'm not going for a G rating. Oh, I know. Going for the Tool fans. All the Tool fans will be like, wow. He does know Prison Sex, the song. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah, yeah, that's why. Uh, HCL and H2SO4. You know, those acids have names. It's hydrochloric acid and I can't remember what H2SO4 is. Hy hydrogen sulfate? I don't know. My, my organic chemistry is far in the past. Yeah. I was more of a valence bond sort of guy myself. <laughs> Another uh, high school band name there. <laughs> the valence then bond. The, then when, when all the bonds crashed in 2008, I uh, stopped following them. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Well, I got this camel. Could we make it explode? A motor car. No, but I could motorboat you. Eh. Does she not see the camel? I mean... I think Kate put it in her pocket. Hmm. Don't pinch the camel. Anytime a sentence starts with well, comma, I hear it in Ronald Reagan's voice. <laughs> well, it's not a motorboat, but it'll do. Um, no, actually, my legs are broken sticks. Almira. Oom, papa, oom, papa, oom, papa, mow, mow. That's slightly dated. <laughs> but not the most dated reference we've made tonight. Probably not. Let's 
See, that's not the nurse's outfit she's wearing in the sprite at all. Not at all. No. All right, Buster. She looks like a completely different person there. Yeah. She looks like. Looks like a uh, squirrel preparing for winter there. <laughs> looks like one of uh, Samantha Stevens' aunts. No, Mrs. Kravitz. She looks like Mrs. Kravitz. There's a dated reference for you. I yeah, I didn't get that one. Um, From Bewitched. She wasn't the mother on her. The what's her name on uh, Facts of Life was she? Uh, she could be her too. Why not? <laughs> She's everybody. She's Jeez. every woman. It does kind of look like a plastic mask. It's probably that actor who's playing the guards. <laughs> That's what he looks like without the mustache. This is, I guess they think they're like poking fun at all the machismo and everything by having these things, but um, it's really just annoying. Well, the art doesn't really show the people looking, I mean, that doesn't look like Jake either. Yeah. There we go, now it's them again. I guess this is like sparkling 80. This is like romancing the stone or whatever, right? Oh, yeah, that's probably it. It's like people bitching at each other means their romantic interests, but when it's not really motivated? Dun, 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 dun. It's I Dream of Jeannie. They're making fun of her costume. I I buy the chemistry between her and Hakeem more than I do between her and Lucky. She's gonna wind up dating the little boy. Oh, well, Lucky's complimenting him too. They're gonna get into a triad with Hakeem. He's looking a little saucy there in that picture. <laughs> uh, this is taking a distressing turn. You know, Kate, Hakeem is fully developed for his age. Whoa, that was quick. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> we can't we can't compliment her hair for God's sake. It's not really showing. Ah, <sighs> yep. Okay. Sheesh, lady. Putrid indiscretion. Oh, she's talking about what she heard. Yeah, that he had done. disgracing them. <laughs> You'll forget one day, but for other reasons. By the way, does this uh, handkerchief smell funny to you? <laughs> does this smell like chloroform to you? Is this really the place to be having our, like, romantic subplot? Um, In front of these I, frugging, <laughs> frugging, shrugging children? <laughs> And they're also fruging. <laughs> Kate, Hakeem would like to ingratiate himself in between your thighs, if you know what I'm saying. Do a little motorboating. You keep coming back to that, I don't know. Who, me? <laughs> Music's more exciting than the dialogue. Yeah, seems that things always just fall into place for you, like when you were playing Tetris that one time. I don't know, Kate. He's kind of, he's kind of turned like a Jewish grandfather by now, you know, like a nice man. But what are you really gaining? Meanwhile, hey, hey. I hope it's EA Lomax. Come on, EA Lomax. Damn. Now the woman looks like the same male actor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just draw a mustache in on her. This is really, like, unnerving that we just keep getting to see the people who've helped Lucky be intimidated and yelled at and everything. It's like the, the moral of the story is don't help out the white man. That's fair. Oh, did she just die? Looked like he was 
thrown away from the plane. Those brights do nothing. They look ridiculous. Yeah. Wow. Oh, we're leaving Lucky for dead, whether he is or not. Are we playing his Chi now? No, Chi's dead. Oh, I, I got confused, I guess. <laughs> you gotta stop drinking so much. And he's it, Lucky was like, sheesh, Chi's gone. We gotta save ourselves. I was too busy looking at the stupid sprites to notice the dialogue. Yeah, you gotta you gotta take in everything all at once. Why were they all in Kathmandu, once. by the way? They're in Istanbul. Or why were they in Istanbul? <laughs> because Hong Kong was rife with civil unrest, and he didn't feel it would be safe to fly in there, so they had to keep going west. And so it was like a stop on the way to Paris. Yes. Okay. We can say just okay, and then I guess we magically have four hundred dollars. Is that how much is that? I don't even know. Is that all of our money? That doesn't make any sense. Where did we get money? I don't even remember that. Shit. Maybe it was an automatic conversion for the shekels. <laughs> like I wonder if you say it's outrageous, I won't pay it. What happens then? Is is he just say no? Like why is that? Its whole little like. Puzzle quest or whatever. What is oh, this is gonna be like the end of that one James Bond movie. We're gonna have one final, uh, one final exciting thing on the the train. A Russian is gonna come in and try to kill us. I'm wondering about that heart on the map because it's clearly not in China. That's true. Well, hello, the Orient Express. Oh, that's a different film entirely. Hmm. I wonder is the is the, or maybe that maybe no Russians gonna come and try to kill us. Maybe this whole last scene is just us uh, uh, playing out this romantic subplot, which I really hope that's not the case because we still have like ten minutes left in this video. <laughs> this is not quite. Um, oh hell, what's that Cary Grant movie that Bugs Bunny was based off of his character because he eats carrots in it? Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this joke. Damn it! I don't care. <laughs> He's gonna work hard for the joke, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, sorry, Clark Gable. Uh, it happened one night. Ah. This is not quite as romantically believable as it happened one night. There, got that off your chest. It happened one night. It's a very, very disturbing. Um, uh, very. That's what I say after sex. Uh, very disturbing. Um, it happened one night. as a very disturbing ending because it's very similar to this. It's like a, a rich newspaper guy or whatever pays Clark Gable to go rescue his daughter, and uh, he or something like that. And he does, and anyway, at the end, like the old man is like, you know, yeah, go fuck her good, Clark Gable, or <laughs> something like that. But it's, you know, it's all done in like fifty speak or whatever. So it's like. Well, go make violent love to her, or whatever, but... And I was concerned about your health. Okay, alright, cool. Are we filling ourselves with booze? I, when did we do that? I believe that's mandatory on the Orient Express. Okay. Meanwhile, a Cthulian horror is murdering people left and right in that next train car. I often get the uh, idea that there's a more interesting story happening just off screen. Hmm. Cheese death really didn't hit us very hard, huh? No. Maybe that's why we're drinking so much. Maybe he didn't like Chi. B. Did Chi ever get his donuts? Like, that's really kind of sad. <laughs> All the people who helped out Lucky end up dead and donutless. Except for the possible romantic interest so far. I guess that's true. But, well, um... Yeah, I guess she I guess she helped him out as well. I was gonna say, he, he, uh, he helped her out. Well, that's true. She's the... She's the MacGuffin of this. Right. Tetchy. You don't hear that word very often anymore. 
Tetchy. Who's Tetchy? I'm not Tetchy. Do it. Do it. Do. <laughs> do. Ah. <laughs> Peek my... Oh, you gotta finish that sentence or it sounds dirty. Yeah. You well, peek... it probably would sound dirty if she finished it. You peek my... I don't know what it is. Hmm. It's probably my musk. It's on and on about his musk. <laughs> oh, did you see number three there? I didn't peek yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I probably would have said if I, uh, if I were here. Because, you know me, it's all about the puns and the millionaire's daughters. Ha, <laughs> ha, ha. <laughs> I wonder what sort of uh, options you get if you're playing as Kate. I, I'm going to guess a very similar conversation, but you're facing in the other direction. Right, but is it like, do you get to choose between, uh, you know, like, uh, you peek my, I don't know, and the other one is like, you clit my, I mean... <laughs> oh god, love that joker. Oh, here we go. The Russian is going to jump in and try to kill us. I skewered him. Triple A. And he's like, I'm getting the hell out of here. Uh. Oh, no, I'm smelting, goddammit. <laughs> you mind now. Nope, smelting. <laughs> Whoa. That's oh, unexpected. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. And a fatigue this would ferocity suck meter? if you were playing this. I... I think I'd be mad. I hate when games completely change their gameplay without any warning. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I would be, rest, you can rest. Just take a little nappies. Ferocity I would be totally, game. uh, I would be totally, like, pissed off, because I'd be like, look, this is, I just want to get this goddamn game over with now, you know? Is Kate not helping at all? Like, that's been her whole thing, like, she keeps helping Lucky out, but now we're, she's just kind of like, eh, I'll just hang out down here and think about our love while he uh, beats the shit out of this dude. Yeah, if you also, like, this, this, oh, go ahead. If you played his Kate, you'd just be down there wondering what the sound on the roof was. <laughs> or maybe somebody else would attack who wanted to kill Kate. Maybe. Also, I really don't like the fact that we don't get, like, a health uh, bar for him. You know, so it's like, how long is this? Oh, I guess we throw him off the edge of the edge of the thing. Lucky, watch out! I'm throwing dynamite up there. Oh God, no! And Lucky's trampled body just lies dead at the. How convenient! Or it's slowly releasing. Is she gonna pull them back together? You oh, cannot. there goes Kate. Jump! No. Geronimo. Oh, it's it's Matt Smith, I guess. That, and... Oh, well, there you go. Just think, Matt Smith was, like, one when this was made. And he didn't steal the fez. Hmm. Wait, what? <laughs> Isn't Matt, Matt Smith the, the doctor who had the fez? Yes, no, I, I, no I'm I saying what about the, the oh. train car exploding? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have so few pop culture references, I... I... Oh, now that train's gonna go into a tunnel, and you know what that means. Sex? Yes. Paris is not the heart of China. Oh, sorry, I got confused. Thought I was still having sex with Lucky there. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like Andy Sa uh, Adam Samberg there. Is it Andy? Andy Samberg. Andy. Andy? Shit. Yeah, Andy. <laughs> I don't even like the Lonely Island. He's kind of the penguin now. <laughs> he's always been the penguin. Deep down. Now he's Winston Churchill. I'm gonna grab your your beard and yank on it, sir. You're, you're, I don't have a beard. I don't care. Beard. You have a beard of the soul. Ah. <laughs> that geez ow, something wrong with that face. Yeah. <laughs> Your dad sure is stupid. <laughs> I farted. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So in the background, there's like uh, Hitler and I don't know. There's like there's a lot going on back there. There is. There's like a failed German techno band back there. <laughs> That's precisely what they are. <laughs> oh, is Later. that supposed to be her dad in the background? With the scarf, I think. Did he dress her up in Asian wear too? <laughs> well, you know, he's got a type. They're both in kimonos. Who's there? <laughs> Must be room service who? Don't do that. Don't you know anything? This is this is not funny. It's not a good joke. Is it Chi? It's Chi. It's her dad. It's Probably Chi yeah. with a donut. Yeah, See? Happy ending. Tree. Donuts in the champagne. Yeah, thanks for leaving me for dead, pal. We ninja is... Uh, we bosses. ninja is... We ninja is bend but not break. What? God, he just gets so unattractive what? when you can actually see the actor. Yeah. And happy endings. He got lucky. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha! You, you didn't even appreciate my happy ending joke, thus tying it all back together. Um, okay, I'll appreciate it now. <laughs> Restart! Quit, yeah, let's quit, play that quit, fucker quit, right quit, over quit, again. Quit. Yeah, that's what we want to oh, do. Dynamic. Expanded memory was used for the overlays! Yay! I love how it's so excited about that. Thank you for playing Hawk. Hawk. 91. Wow, so that game is, what, 24, 24 years old? Holy <laughs> shit, does that make me feel old. Game is old enough to drink, and then a little. Yeah. All right, so what did we learn here? Um, the heart of China is Paris, France. Apparently, and um, there's a little Chinese man inside all of us. <laughs> but he's trying to get out. <laughs> See, I don't even know. Oh, my God, that game. Like, it just, I think the thing that annoys me is it, it, it jumped genres more than Bayou Billy. I'm not familiar with Bayou Billy, so I'll take your word for it. I, okay, well, then that comment really didn't work. It jumped genres more than that genre jumpy thing? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, go to the Joss Whedon uh, uh, exit. <laughs> That's right, just add a Y to the end of half of your words and... You're all good. That's all. You're yeah. all goody. So, <laughs> so any um, any closing thoughts there? I I really kind of want a fez and maybe a white flowing scarf. All right. I just feel kind of bitter, maybe a little betrayed. That's that's kind of <laughs> where I am. Yeah. That's kind of your starting point, though, isn't it? <laughs> bitter True and betrayed. Enough. All right. Well, everybody, thanks for joining us on this as a journey into the heart. Of China. This is Michael T. Bradley. And Skixmatics. And we are. 